Hello, this is a part two of a video, but it kind of stands on its own. So part one, which you can check the link for here, dealt with adding um, smart port telemetry specifically to an R9 receiver. But there's some stuff in there about smart port telemetry and UARTs and stuff. Um, it was specific to the R9 because somebody asked me about it, but yeah, that sort of works in other receivers as well. Now this one is about using soft serial to use with smart port telemetry, and again, um, I'm doing it on an R9, but it should work for other receivers just as long as you've got some sort of smart telemetry uh, port on there. So obviously, freeze guys receivers we're talking about. Anyway, check out the previous one if you don't know at all what I'm talking about because it does assume some things, um, but check out the video. Previously in this quad, I was hooking up uh, smart port telemetry to this R9MM and I connected it to a TX of a UART port. But I talked about last time, what if I wanted to connect something else? We're sort of all full up now. TX1 is basically SBUS, which is there. We've got um, TX3 over here, which is doing smart audio. So we've got an RX6, which we can't use because we've got a TX6 there. And we can't use the RX3 pin behind that because we're already using a TX3 doing something else. So what can we do? And I talked about last time about setting up soft serial. And I thought what we could do is perhaps use this unused LED pin just there to run soft serial and that way I can free up TX6 and RX6 to connect something else which is going to be a, a GPS to do some experiments on there. So let's see if we can run through how to do this um, and exactly what we do. Obviously got a bit of physical wiring to do but a little bit of beta flight setup as well. Okay so let's connect into beta flight to make the little changes I need. At the moment what I've got is just my normal UART and smart port is set up on UART 6. So if we go to the CLI and we type in resource, you will see a, a big list of stuff. And the thing I'm interested in is my LED strip. So what we're going to do is we're going to free up that resource and use it for something else. And to do that, we type resource LED strip 1 none. and the resource is freed. And then what we do is we redefine it as a serial TX. Now I'm using number 11 because that is equivalent of a soft serial port number one. And if we set that to A01, which is what the resource was for the LED strip, but I should point out that it could well be different on every single board, so don't just copy mine, check out what your resource is first. Since it's already assigned to motor 5, this sometimes seems to pop up. I'm not sure why, but I haven't got a motor 5, so I'm not particularly worried. Anyway, let's save that, reconnect, and ports, it's not there. And so let's enable the soft serial port, that might help us. Aha, there it is, it's reappeared. Well, it has appeared. So I'm going to set that to disabled there and I'm going to say we want a smart port there save and reboot and so that's where my ports look like now so UART 6 is free and we've got the smart port against soft serial 1 and obviously in here we've got soft serial enabled there was a thing I was missing right so let's just do that uh, quick solder job to move that wire over and then let's see if it works. So here we are and you see this time we've got the telemetry wire going over to our LED and so we freed up our TX6. Now once I set the port up and tried to get telemetry out of it initially it didn't work and I found out again this is this kind of weird thing between what is inverted and what is not inverted. There is this CLI command called TL TLM inverted which is set to off, which sounds like the right thing, but it seems backwards again. So I set it to on and then tried it again and it seemed to work. So the quick example of that, I've gone ahead and I've deleted all my sensors. So all the sensors are there and they look fairly happy. They always come up in completely different uh, ways. I suppose it just depends what's in the stream. One thing to note though about using soft serial is 
you don't want to use it for any time critical stuff. So never use it for a receiver because it's got as an added uh, load to the system in trying to use it. So you wouldn't want to do it on anything where speed is of the essence. Obviously with telemetry, we're not too bothered. So just a couple of extra things I noted from that after flying with it for a little while. Um, first off, yep, I freed up the port and look, I've got the GPS on, so there'll be some videos coming up about this soon. But the thing um, I just wanted to note that sometimes when I was on the ground and I powered up and I, I get my telemetry through, I get this message saying sensor loss. Um, and suddenly it's like sensor loss, sensor loss. I get a bunch of them and then it goes away. And then I'm flying and I've, I've never actually had them flying, just once been on the ground. So I just wanted to alert you to that. I don't know quite what it is. The sensors seem to come back. Perhaps there's a level of expectation about how often the sensors are going to come. Perhaps it gets this packet of data down. It's like, well, I didn't get any sensors for this one, therefore it's lost. And then when it comes back, it doesn't renounce it. I don't know. I didn't have any particular problems bringing them back, but I just wanted to alert you that might be one of the side effects from using soft serial in this case. The other thing you might want to use soft serial for is to use with smart audio, because again, that needs one. Uh, pin on a UART which you might want to free up and it's not a time critical thing that you need all the time. Uh, and if you plug in extra things, like a GPS in my case, you will get extra sensors. So um, on my one now, I, for example, I get a GPS position and speed and uh, height and the more you plug in, the more sensors you get and then you obviously you can arrange that on your telemetry screen if you like. Anyway, hope that's been helpful. I'll catch you next one. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.